So I'm here with Benjamin Vedder. Uh, this is a big moment uh, for the Eastgate scene to have Vedder at an event, um, considering he's put so much into this scene. Um, basically, like, to give you a background on what the VESC is, which is Benjamin Vedder's project, you did a PhD on the VESC, I believe? Uh, not on the VESC, actually. It was more on software testing so, and computer science. So the VESC actually started doing before the PhD and did it in parallel in my spare time. So it's really a side project for me, yeah. but one that took a lot of time. Probably put in something like 10,000 hours at this point. So. So basically, look, the VESC, if you don't know what that is, it's a open source speed controller, which is VEDA electronic speed controller. And um, in the Eastgate scene before that came about, your options were mostly going onto Hobby King and getting a car ESC, which didn't really provide the right kind of algorithms you need, didn't, didn't have the features you need. So Benjamin put all his time in, created the VESC, made it open source, and then companies like Inertion, Tramper, Maytech, uh, Talkboards went out and created uh, PCBs from that schematic. Um, so basically, VEDA did the back-end work and um, really uh, yeah, helped lift the scene to what it is now. So every board that people are riding here, whether it's a Tramper, anything that's high spec has a Fockbox or a Unity or a Tramper 6.0 uh, VESC inside it. Everything else is sort of more consumer end, whether you're talking Mellows, like Meepo, uh, they don't have the same performance, they can't run the same amperage. So uh, tell, me, tell me what's been like uh, recent developments with uh, the VESC project. Yeah, I think recently I spent quite a lot of time on the app and the uh, profiles and also on the remote that is coming up because I think one problem for Eastgate in general is there's no really reliable remote available. The PPM signal is not really a good way to communicate and you don't get the feedback either. And, uh, well, also I'm, I'm, I'm very excited for this VESC wand. It's a big thing. It's right. The remotes are really important. Yeah, yeah, I think so too. And uh, then I've been working on some hardware. I mean, the VESC 725 300, the bigger version, uh, I've been working on that one the last year or so. Not so much this year, but uh, more or less last year. I spent quite a bit of time on it. And then obviously in the software is always new stuff coming and it's just like getting bigger and bigger, the code base. And tell me about your involvement with Tramper over the past, say, two years. Uh, so you, you transferred a trademark or tell me what, what's happened? Yeah, so, uh, yeah, the Frankfurt Trumper contacted me, some, I think it was two or three years ago, and reached out to me because, uh, because of the VESC. And, uh, well, we well, got along quite well, and it was, uh, yeah, it seemed like nice people. And then also, they helped me set up the trademark and everything, because uh, that was needed for a project like that. So I'm really grateful uh, for that. And then... Uh, yeah, then we've been involved. They've also been working with me on uh, the new hardware versions because the VESC 4, that's the one that I just published with Kematis and also the hardware design and everything for. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was the reason it's called version 4 is it's the first version that worked well enough for me yeah, yeah. to release it all. That's the one I first got. Uh, there was also version 3 and 2 and 1 that. I never heard of them. <laughs> yeah, because I never released and they weren't really good enough for me to. <laughs> But it maybe have set my bedroom on fire. I, uh, is it version four? I got just as a PCB. And I thought, what the hell am I getting into? So then I had to learn to solder. Then I blew up a few. And then you know, following it, it's been a really interesting journey. I, I have a question for you. So if now I wanted to build an electric skateboard, and I wanted a high performance speed controller. Uh, should I buy a Unity or a, a Tramper Vesk? I mean, what's the difference? I don't really know that much of the, about the Unity, to be honest. I know they kind of f forked the whole project, and uh, I kind of haven't looked so, so much into it. But as far as I know, the most, the highest performance speed controller right now is the VESC 6 or the 75300 if you want to go the, to well higher voltage and a lot more amps. And both of them also have uh, quite or really reliable power stages, and uh, they can really push a lot of amps without any problems. And I think the main difference from uh, from the VESC 4 to the VESC 6 is, uh, yeah, the VESC 6 I also did with Trumper, by the way. So, and uh, there I kind of implemented everything I learned by doing the 1, 2, 3 and the 4. And also on the 75, 300, it's uh, more or less, well, yeah, the improve. So uh, what's the biggest uh, task, like when you're creating 
a new vesk uh yeah what's like the bottleneck or what are you having to work on the most and what are you trying to make better yeah so most of the work is um by far the software. So with the hardware, for example, it's more about experience. So if I want to make a new hardware now, it doesn't take that much time. Maybe I could make something that is uh, similar to VEST 6 in a week or two, maybe. But that's mainly because I have the experience with the hardware now. So the hardware itself is not so much work, but the thing that takes all the time is the software. And uh, it's really not, uh, when I say it's 99% software and 1% hardware in the effort, it's probably quite close to, a real, uh, to the actual number. Because I think I spent some probably approaching 10,000 hours now on the software and the hardware I can make a new version in a week or so. So, yeah. yeah good work. You put in a lot of time and um, yeah, people are very thankful all over the world. Great. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to say to all the people around the world who are going to watch and uh, anything you'd like to say to them? Yeah, I didn't really think about this. <laughs> That's <laughs> alright. We'll leave it at that, yeah? Didn't prepare for the interview. So I, re I really appreciate yeah, you you coming and being here in person, and um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's a good moment. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for having me, and uh, nice to see everyone yeah. <laughs> using the mask and appreciating. It really, it really makes me happy to see it. Yeah, so, good, good, good. cheers. Thank you.